friends welcome to this new episode in this episode we will discuss about uh, the screen personas with mdg so the feature is that uh, you know using screen personas you can able to create multiple flavors and also you can personalize according to the user uh, requirements or user roles and you can um, simplify the complex uis by removing unwanted fields and etc and uh, these features are already there with the web design pro application also like um, as you know mdg uh, applications are mostly running in a web time pro based so you can of course hide unhide some fields and uh, you can also create a customizing for your configuration and you can also personalize it but the problem here is uh, for an example for one custom one configuration you can able to create only one customizing but if you wanted multiple customizing then you need to have a different configurations but with the screen personas, you can able to create multiple flavors. So I had a requirement from one of the customer that they wanted to use a maintained business partner app in the MDG system, but only for the display purpose. So they really don't want uh, to maintain the business partner using that app, they, but they just wanted to display the business partners. And they use MDG for the maintenance of the business partners. Yeah? And uh, so it won't work with authorization concept. If you assign authorization and uh, they can, of course, create the business partner through MDG change request application. And if they open this maintain business partner application, of course, they can still able to edit it because they have the authorization. So it won't work with the authorization concept. You cannot, uh, you know, enable this feature by controlling authorization. It's not possible. And uh, they also had a requirement that for the commodity code app also, they need the similar uh, thing that uh, some users they just need to see it they should not edit anything so these uh, requirements we done it with the screen personas and we will see today's call you know today's meeting how we're gonna do this and the one more thing is it's not limited only to this application you can also personalize your own mdg application for an example as i said for one configuration you are able to create only one customizing in the mdg application with the screen persona you can create multiple flavors so in this call we are not going to discuss about how to activate screen personas in the system yeah so there are already so many youtube videos and also yeah blogs are there so you can go through and uh, if uh, if you think it is kind of usable in your company then you can enable this and the screen personas are more and more used in the cloud applications so maybe you can you know try to use this functionality so that um, you know when your customer uh, start to use cloud after five six after you know migrating to cloud after five to ten years down the line you can pretty much reuse all the functionalities yeah so let's go into the system and uh, check how we can use the screen persona so go to fury launchpad mm, okay so let's take uh, the maintain business partner app maintain business partner okay so this is the this is nothing but the bpt code and exposed in the fury launch pad so now uh, the requirement is that they wanted this app but only for the display purpose and uh, of course yeah but the maintenance they will do it through mdg change request of course for certain specific user they are still allowed to maintain or change the business partner using this uh, business partner application so in this case what we need to do is we need to create two flavor one is just the display and another one is um, uh, i think we don't have to do it so they can simply use this uh, original application to change it so once you activate your screen personas you will see the icon here and just click on this icon and then you can click on the new template display business partner <laughs> can put the description okay so now what you can do is you can remove all the unnecessary buttons for, for an example what happens when i click organization okay so let me put the exit so when i click organization i'm able to create a new organization right and uh, i just came out let's go one more time yeah and once i go inside you see I have a button to switch between display and change. So let us remove all the unnecessary buttons. 
and make this app only for a display purpose so i would say exit okay so it does the same thing okay so now what you can do is activate the screen personas so you have created the flavor select the flavor today select the flavor okay select the flavor and click it and you can remove all the one maybe i also don't want this menu into so this one this one group also i don't want to and i don't think i need settings so now you can save it okay now once again exit so you have like this and let's say that the users are searching and then they go inside the application and you have to see if uh, you know these things are relevant for you or if you think it is uh, not relevant once again you can activate the per screen personas and click the edit button and uh, i would like to remove this remove no maybe i'll remove this okay and then of course uh, based on the user requirement you can remove some um, some fields some tabs and then you can customize this page pretty much you want to. once you finish with this you just click on the save button now you can exit so you see this is the flavor you created it so there is an original flavor and then this is the flavor you created hmm. so now you have to assign this flavor to your customer and you see this is the link this is the link of the flavor so using this uh, link the customers can access and they can only display the business plan and what you can do is you can also create a application you know a new fury app using this uh, you know the flavor so how we can do it mm, go here go to the development fury development cockpit okay so now um let's see where this business partner maintain business maybe it's here no yeah it's such here business there are so many maybe i think this one okay so i go inside so we go here so go inside click on configure uh you have to copy and create a new catalog yeah but uh, just for the demo purpose i'm going to change uh, this one so normally by when you see it you have a action called as display assigned yeah, even if it is a display you can able to switch between change so now what i need to do is i need to assign the flavor so uh go back to the screen and check the flavor so this is the screen personas flavor right so you create a new catalog and then you can assign the flavor id here and then maybe this is not the right up we are checking <clears throat> okay okay so let's try to reload mm, yeah this is the correct one so now the screen person is loaded you see the screen person is loaded and now the user can only able to display the business model they can't do anything yeah because we removed all the buttons likewise you can also personalize um, yeah the mdg applications also for an example mm, go to the app finder yeah so central governance business partner governance so see here also personas appear so here also you can simplify the screen right so with the screen personas you can create multiple flavors uh, for different uh, roles of the users and then you can assign this personas to the user at the end you can deact it's not deactivating kind of uh, hiding this uh, you know this bar for the end users so for that also there is a blog uh, you can follow to you know hide this
So this video is continuation of the previous one and uh, if you have requirement only uh, to make the BPT code display for certain users you can also do it using another way just go to SM30 and then open this view and enter the application object as Pupa so now when you go to the BPT code, this function module will be executed and this function module will make all the fields read only. So it won't be editable anymore. So go to the app, maintain business partner and go to my original flavor, open this. And then you see everything is editable. Sorry, uh, display only. Even if you click uh, to change, it will be display only. But there is a problem where, uh, let's say, which is maintained here, customer maintenance. So if you see some fields in the customer master that is uh, is still editable. So issue with some CVA fields. If you have this issue, then we have to implement this SAP. So this will solve the field, solve the issue and make all the fields as a real. So this is an alternative way. And let's say that you have two group of users, that the one group of users require only read-only access. The another group of users can also edit some fields using a BPT code. Normally in the MDG system, yeah, when you use MDG, you should not update any data using BPT code. But some users still do that, yeah. And if uh, if you have the same requirement that for some user group you need to uh, show the BPT code display only, and for some users we have to sh show in an editable mode, then what you can do is you can go to this business, uh, sorry, this function module. And then you can create implicit enhancement and check which user group it is. Maybe using a role, or you can use a kind of a user parameters in the user master data. So some control will be there. So you read the control and create an implicit enhancement. And uh, if the user falls in the editable group, then you put a return statement. So the function module won't be executed and the field will be editable. If the user is in the display mode, then simply exit uh, the condition so that this function module will be executed and the entire BPT code will be display only. So this is also an alternative way we can you can do it. So yeah, that's all. I just wanted to highlight uh, one more options option available. So I hope this will be useful for you guys, and I will see you uh, very soon with the next video. Thank you.